The continuous random variable x has probability density function given by f of x is equal to k times 1 minus x squared over 4 for x between 0 and 2, or f of x is equal to 0 otherwise. Part A, we want to show that k is equal to 3 quarters. OK. In order to show that k is equal to 3 quarters, what we need to do is just show that if we integrate between 0 and 2, f of x dx, we want to use this fact that it is equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is we're going to integrate this function. I'm going to take the k outside of the integral so I don't have to worry about the k. And I'm just going to integrate between 0 and 2 the function 1 minus x squared over 4 with respect to x. When I integrate this function, the constant 1 integrates to x x squared integrates to x cubed. I'm then going to divide by the new power, which is 3. So by dividing by the new power, I get 4 times 3 on the, new, on the denominator. And so I get x cubed over 12. This is going to be integrated between the bounds 0 and 2. Next, all I have to do is evaluate this. So I'm going to leave the k outside. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we are going to get 2 minus 2 cubed over 12 will be equal to, now I know a lot often this zero part is always equal to zero, but just put it in for good practice, demonstrate that you know how to do a definite integration correctly. So when I work through this, I get 2 minus 8 over 12, which will give me 16 over 12. So this gives me 16k over 12, which can be cancelled to 4k over 3. Therefore, 4k over 3 must be equal to 1, which means when I rearrange it, times by 3, divide by 4, what I get is that k is equal to 3 quarters as required. OK, three marks in this question. Let's quickly identify how we get three marks in this question. First of all, we get a method mark for identifying at some point that the integral between 0 and 2 for the function will be equal to 1. Next, I get an accuracy mark for actually integrating to the correct function at this point here. And then finally, I get an accuracy mark for getting down to this last part here, identifying that k, uh, we get 4k over 3 so that I can work this part out here. Actually, let's just extend that there so we get that accuracy mark there. Part B. Part B wants us to calculate expectation of x. So the expectation of x is found by integrating between 0 and 2 x multiplied by the function f of x dx. Again, when I do this part, what I want to do is take the constant k outside. So I'm going to take the 3 quarters outside. I'll just make the process of integration, etc., a little bit simpler. So we get between 0 and 2, and then I'm going to multiply x by 1 minus x squared over 4 dx. So what we're going to be integrating is 3 quarters, the integral between 0 and 2, x minus x cubed over 4 dx. Now, when I integrate this, not forgetting the k, I have 3 quarters multiplied by x will integrate to x squared over 2. Take away x cubed will integrate to x to the power 4. Divide by that new power 4, so I get 4 times 4 on the denominator, so x to the power 4 over 16. This is between 0 and 2. So then we have to evaluate our integral, 3 quarters multiplied by put in the 2 in first of all, 2 squared 
over 2 minus 2 to the power of 4 over 16 minus and I know again that this is going to evaluate to 0 but I just want to demonstrate that I'm doing my integration correctly and not forming any bad habits as not all functions when 0 is put in equals 0 so we're going to get minus 0 squared over 2 minus 0 to the power 4 over 16 what happens here 2 squared over 2 is 2 minus 2 to the power 4 over 16 which is 1 so I get 1 in this bracket here nothing in this bracket here and so we get 1 times 3 quarters is simply 3 quarters Okay, how do we get the marks in this question? Well, first of all, we get a method mark for indicating correctly that this is how I find the expectation of x. We then get an accuracy mark for demonstrating what this would integrate to. And finally, I got an accuracy mark for getting an answer of three quarters. Okay, let's have a look at part C. Part C, part I, says, find an expression for f of x valid for x between 0 and 2, where f denotes the cumulative distribution function of x. So, to find a cumulative distribution function, what we need to do is we are going to integrate between 0 and x the function k so I'm going to put the k outside again 3 quarters 1 minus x squared over 4 and we're integrating that with respect to x so when I integrate this we get 3 quarters we've already seen 1 integrates to x x squared over 4 integrates to x cubed over 12. So nothing new here, we're just recycling what we did in part A. We're going to integrate that between 0 and x. So what we get is 3 quarters multiplied by x minus x cubed. So what we're doing is we're just substituting in the x of this bound in over 12. And then this is going to be minus 0 minus 0 cubed over 12. Close our bracket. When we work this through, the 0 evaluates to 0 as before, and I get left with 3 quarters of x minus x cubed over 12. So this is our f of x. Quick look at how we get the marks here. First of all, we get a method mark for demonstrating that we're going to integrate the probability density function between the bounds 0 and x or some other parameter in order to form the equation. Then get an accuracy mark for demonstrating that we are going to this is the expression that we are going to evaluate in order to get our function and then finally we get an accuracy mark for arriving at our cumulative distribution function part two then just wants us to actually evaluate a probability, so we want a probability that 0 0.5 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1.5 and so this is calculated by evaluating the probability of x being less than or equal to 1.5 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 0.5. So we're going to have f of 1.5 from our cumulative distribution function minus f of 0.5.
Okay, so I'm going to put this 1.5 into my formula now. So what we're evaluating is 3 quarters of 1.5 minus 1.5 cubed over 12. Take away 3 quarters of 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cubed also over 12. So we can type this into a calculator all in one long go. When I put, process that and put it through my calculator, I get an answer of 0 0.547 to three decimal places. Okay, let's have a look at where the marks are awarded. So only two marks in this part of the question. First mark is for method mark for correctly identifying that we're going to use the cumulative distribution function by uh, doing the f of 1.5 minus f of 0 0.5 and finally we get an accuracy mark for getting to an answer of 0 0.547. Okay then, well I hope that all made sense and that you understood it.